in an even paper that once we die, that our bodies are finally free of the sun, and life tries to reclaim this again and again and again. There's no the secrets. You just can't. You know, I think the virus is the single greatest agent of life. So my sister is going through some interesting bodily changes. Uh, she's around the age of puberty now. And she doesn't know what to do with it. She constantly tries to rip it up. But it'll be. And she's become obsessed with dogs. You know, I go up to my sister uh, and I ask her what she's doing. And she's just playing with them. She actually has a crucifix. And she's playing with it like a doll. I tell my sister, that's, that's a crucifix, it's not a doll. And he's like, no, I think it's a doll. And she's just banging it on the floor. And she's like making it talk to the other dolls very casually. As if, it, as if the man wasn't on a cross. As if he wasn't like nailed to a cross. As if he was just walking around. You know, funny thought. Telephone poles with my crosses was, was marionette wires running through. Anyway, besides the point, so I, 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 she just baffles me. And we, you know, I want to entertain her because she's my sister. So we sit in a room full of dolls. And, uh, you know, when I ask her, well, what now? And she starts playing with him. And then she stops and she's like, well, it's really awkward with you being here. And I'm like, I'll be cool with you. You know, just do what you normally do. And she just sits there. I say, no, go on. She's like, no, this is what I do. I just sit here. And she says that, I don't know how my mind works. I don't really know. But that, if you want to know how a doll speaks to you, you must be like a doll. And she just sits there. And I sit there. And surely enough, surely enough, I don't say things. You know, we have this family. We have this family now. It's lovely. Um, has, it has all of our history in it, except there's no photos. And I turn to my sister, who looks like my mom, just like my mom, and I say, Mother, why are no photos in the album? And she says, I, I've taken photos all my life. But it's funny because like, the people in the photos are just not you. Same team, same place, it's just not you. But these receipts, they're proof that you exist. In fact, the birth certificate, what is that? But a receipt of your being born. And I look through the album, and I see receipts, payments for like gas, utilities, but simple sales too. But then I notice, going back further, that my family came from cargo. That there were receipts tracing the lineage when they were traded back and forth. Receipts for people. Tells me that the horizon must be like a scar, separating the sky from the earth. Like a wound. Like a wound. And I have this idea, I have this idea that the television screen is an attempt to create a second sky, separated from heaven and earth by a screen of glass. Put your fingers on it. Thank <laughs> you.